If you want, you can import commercials into Music One. Then you can see a very accurate tally of the total amount of content in each hour in the completed schedule. You can send a fully merged log to your digital automation system, and you can print a merged log to paper. To do this, the first thing to do is to tell the format clocks how to synchronize with your commercial logs. You want it to bring commercials from your traffic and billing software into the right time slots within Music One. So, let's start with the commercial log. Your traffic and billing software has its own format set up, a certain number of commercial breaks an hour and a certain starting point for each one. The traffic and billing software produces a text log for each schedule. This is the log that's normally read and imported by your digital system. Here we have open one with a text editor so you can see the formatting. In this one, the first commercial break starts at 10 past the hour, the next at 20, there's another one at 30, another at 40, and another at 47. In Music One, it doesn't make any difference how many spots are in each break. It just needs to know the start time each break is given in the traffic and billing format. Now, in the Music One format clocks, we have to add a special kind of unit, a spot break unit, with a start time that will correspond with the start time of each break in the traffic format. We click the Music Notes icon to open up the Add Format Clock Item window, and we select the Special button. There are five different kinds of items here, and we want to add a spot break. Now, that traffic log we were looking at has five breaks in the hour, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to add three. I click the OK button three times, then cancel to put this window away. Now I drag the three new items to the proper position in the clock hour by pointing at each item name. I click and hold the left mouse button, then I drag the name over to and on top of the item name where I want it to be. Let's put this one down at the bottom of the hour, and the last one at about 47. It's not important that these items appear on the clock at the exact precise time point in the hour. You see here the break at the bottom of the hour looks like it's actually going to start at around 32 on average. We'll give you personal instructions about how to handle units that do require precise start times. Now we have to tell each spot break where to look in the traffic log for the commercials to import into the break. Point at the break name and do a right click, and then select Properties. Next. Select the Start Time tab. Here we enter a nominal start time. This will be the start time of the particular break in the traffic log. The first one in our traffic log was at 13, so I enter 1300 for 13 minutes and 00 seconds. I just enter the numbers, and when I click out of the box, Music One automatically enters the colons. Back to the General tab window. We see a field for Length. I have three minutes entered, so Music One will give this unit a three minute pie slice. But in the finished music log, when the spot break is imported, the slice will adjust to the actual content. If 90 seconds are in this break, it will shrink. If four minutes of commercials are in the break, it will expand. Now I go to the other spot break items on the clock, right click, select properties, enter the nominal start time for each one. When finished, you can look at the clock and see each break name shows up with the nominal start time. That's the start time that corresponds to the start time of each commercial cluster in your traffic and billing software. There's another setup step needed for importing commercials, and you'll need to watch that video to see how to do that.